Hello folks, welcome back to another review of Thoughts On. Now, I just got done, well, I did watch the first uh, Haunted Mansion, you know, when it came out with Eddie, Eddie Murphy. So I try, I decided to do a back-to-back -back, uh, combo. The, the original versus the 2023 reboot. And I'll just say this. I'm going to mostly be talking about the first one because while I will mention, you know, the second one a little bit in this review, I fell asleep on it. So, yeah, I don't know if that even counts as a re half of a re even review because I only saw the beginning of it. I saw parts of the middle and then the climax of stuff I saw pretty much, and pretty much the ending, which was a bit weird. If you ask me, I was orchestrated. Um, so yeah, Haunted Mansion of 2003, which was, well, I remember the previews, the trailers to it. I remember liking the movie overall. Eddie Murphy, of course, I like Eddie Murphy from Day Daycare to other films, Meet Dave, um, Nutty Professor, I know him mostly for, from those movies, um, he, he, so, overall, I liked him in the movie, for, in terms of, you know, interest, and really the only shining parts of that, of that movie, whereas, because he plays pretty much what he plays in the, every other movie, he's in The Family Man, or Dad, where, Oh, he's a workaholic and his job, his work gets in the way of him caring for his family. What's the Haunted Mansion? He's a workaholic and he cares more for his job, puts his job over his family more. And then by the end, it's like, oh, family means everything to me. So, you have that. Uh, and the first one is directed by Rob Minkoff. Minkoff. So, is written by David, I don't know how to say that last name, but it's loosely based off the theme park uh, ride from uh, the Disneyland or whatever. And yeah, pretty much they, you know, uh, Eddie Murphy plays a real estate agent. He is a workaholic and pretty much neglects his family for the most part. He does try, but he gets, you know, his work gets in the way more. Uh, so pretty much he decides to take his family off to a vacation lake house or somewhere where there's a lake. But pretty much before that, they take a detour to this old rundown mansion because they get a call of, oh, the, the owner wants to get rid of it. So he decides, yep, for sure, I'm going there to try to sell this house. And, uh, you re and then pretty much throughout the movie is ghosts and curses he has to worry about. Um, so that while well, that one does have a decent storyline to it, the second one is this guy who you find out later on, like in the in that one, he pretty much his wife died from a. I don't know if it was a car accident or after a car accident or something. I, I can't even remember. Just, but you have Danny DeVito in, in the second one. You have Owen Wilson playing a, a priest or exorcist. Which I thought he was pretty good in the film for what I saw or remember seeing. Um, you have Rosario Dawson who played, you know, Ahsoka in the Ahsoka series. So if you want to see more of her, she's in this movie. But if you really want to see more and more of her, then go to Reddit. <laughs> but, uh, undisney, undisney fight, I'll just say that. But besides that, I mean, she plays a mom to a kid, a son, who the acting from the kids in these movies, you know, I don't know. I would say maybe I liked. Eddie Murphy's kids, well, I liked his son more, acting-wise, because at least, 
I like the dynamic of Eddie trying to teach his son to not be afraid of spiders or whatever. Whereas this one, this guy, he is grumpy pretty much. It's one of those, oh, I lost somebody, so I'm going, I'm going to be mean to people and, you know. And then you have Danny DeVito playing a historian, I guess. I believe, because the second one tries to do like a poltergeist. Matter of fact, that's what it kept reminding me of now that I think about it. Because you have a, a, a exorcist, you have a psychic, you have a ghost hunter person, and you have this a two people family, two person family. But it's not really scary. Jared Leto also plays in the movie as an evil ghost, I believe. I forget his ghost, his evil ghost name. Um, I liked his design, though. I thought it was decent. But, um, yeah, the, the second one's written by Kate Dippod, or Katie Dippo, Dippod, <laughs> whatever. Uh, it's directed by Justin Simon, or Simon. So, I, I don't know. Like, the, the, so in terms of enjoyment of the two, I would say, I don't even know if you can really say that's fair because I fell asleep on the second one again. I did. But I would give enjoyment to the 2003 one. I would say I like the plot more in that one versus here because I didn't really care for the lead guy. He's not a bad actor, but I just didn't care for his character of you know, his loss. And then, and by the end, like, he, it's hinted at that he's probably going to get with uh, Ros Rosario Dawson. So it's like, okay, it'll be okay <laughs> after all. Um, and plus, the, in the other one, you had T Jennifer Tilly, you know, Bride Bri of Chucky. Uh, Tiffany, you had her in the first one as the, uh, I forget what you even call her. She was like a, she was in that glowing ball seance type thing. Um, but yeah, it's not really funny. To me, the, the second one's not really that funny. Um, again, the acting's not bad. Um, it's just... Like, everybody's just there versus the original one. Even the first one, at least, you had an interesting backstory of the uh, the mansion owner being in love with his wife, or soon-to-be wife, but he thought maybe she didn't want to be his wife, so she killed herself. Terms, And then that causes him to do the same thing. So then he gets, you know, they do a whole reincarnation thing. They It's based off a reincarnation thing. And then it's like, oh, the butler did it, <laughs> pretty much. Which, I don't, I, you could probably tell it was the butler in on it from, like, the 20, whatever, couple minutes when they're in the mansion, Mark. <laughs> but, and plus there's, I liked more of the scenes in that one where you have, at least you have better effects, practical effects where you have than this one, where I saw CGI. Um, I mean, you have Rick Baker doing the effects for the zombie skeletons in the, uh, tomb or whatever they're at in the first one. Um, I even laughed at the part where, like, they're, they're trying to get out and, like, the, the uh, the son is scared of spiders on the door so he can't open the door. And they're trying to say, Michael, let us out. And, um, so, like, that, that was funny. The sister shot, it was like threatening him while the dad's like trying to calm him down to get him out of there. So I like that scene mostly. I really, that scene was like the one that always made me laugh. But, um, yeah, the, the second one I'm not, I can't get into. I couldn't get into it. The fact that I fell asleep on it, I don't know, maybe I was just tired, but I don't know. <laughs> just that tired. Or it was just that boring. But. 
Yeah, I don't know. Oh, you have Jamie Lee Curtis as well in the second one as somebody. I don't even know if she was a ghost or a human. Because <laughs> I woke up during the climax. That's when I woke up and stayed up for the most part. Because I'm like, this movie's still on. <laughs> this is a long movie. Or it just feels like that. Uh, the score was nothing to run home about. None of the music I liked. Whereas at least the first one had a like, decent little score going for it. It fit that movie. Um, but yeah, I can't say I enjoyed the second one. First one wins in, ter in terms of uh, entertainment, acting, and story-wise, it hands down wins. Um, so I don't know. Uh, I guess they were trying to bank on Otis. You know, Eddie Murphy's movie made a lot of money, even though it got panned while I read in the uh, box office. It, it was a juggernaut a bit. But the critics hated it, I guess. So, and everybody, a lot of people now hate this second film. Which I wouldn't say it's a horrible film, but it's just, I wouldn't watch it again. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on these films, on this first one or the second one. Do you prefer Eddie Murphy's version, or do you prefer Disney's reboot? But, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, and yeah.